Have you ever noticed how powerful we think we are? It's kind of funny, really, when you think about it, because we're, we're really not powerful at all, right? Uh, there, there's little that we can do uh, without being influenced by that which is around us. And as people of faith, we also acknowledge that that means that outside of God, we, we really are not powerful. We may have illusions of power, but, but we're not powerful. Well, once in a while, Scripture talks about power and, and what it means to be powerful, especially God's power. And, and so we're going to take a look at a passage of Scripture that, that speaks to that just a little bit today. Let's take a look. From the dawn of time, I am the one. No one can escape my power. I act, and who can undo it? That comes from the book of Isaiah and is a reminder to us that, that God is all-powerful. Sometimes, again, we, we forget that. We start to think that, that God is is limiting God's power, or God's power might even be limited itself, or we just start to think that our power is sufficient to do a lot of things. Outside of God, though, we don't really have much power, except for the power that we've kind of made up. And so the question that God poses is this, I act, and who can undo it? It's, it's a good question, right? It, it helps us to think through this idea uh, of God being powerful. God acts. God does how God wants to do. And none of us, not even the church itself, can undo that. Another way of thinking about it is this. God loves, and even the church can't dictate who God loves. I can't dictate it. You can't dictate it. The church can't decide who God's love. God loves who God wants to love, period. When God creates, God creates, period. When God loves, God loves, period. When God calls someone, it's not up to us to decide whether or not they are able, willing, God has called them. And so, while this might sound limiting, it's actually life-giving. Here's what I mean. When God says, I love my people, we get to get out of the way and just let God love God's people, and we get to actually love them too. Remember, Jesus tells us that. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. God calls. All we got to do is enable and empower people to live into their calling, not decide whether or not they're right for the job. We can help people discern. We can help people hear God. We can help people learn uh, what their gifts are from God and how to use them. But ultimately, God is a charge. Amen.